Ready? Oh okay, sir, intro. Episode 11. That's the worst intro I'm going to use for today. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I had a good one, sir. I forgot. Just started like that. I had a good intro, but I forgot. I had a good intro, but I forgot. And with that being said, welcome to side part number 10. We're in the double digits, motherfuckers. Don't you mean 11? Oh shit, let's try that again. Let's do that again. Let's do that again. Let's continue. Okay. Uh, hello, this is Tewong Sai of the side pod. And we are all, like I always, I'm always joined by Ken Lepinso. Hola. And today's guest, would you like to introduce yourself or would you like us to introduce you, me lady? I'd like to see you introduce me. Hello, this is Sushi. She is a garment of, uh, sorry, she is a national food of Japan where <laughs> you put rice and wasabi and fish together. Also known as Sushmita Monga. She is a, what do you do actually? She's currently an assistant. And yeah, I'm a teaching assistant at She's RTC. She's a teaching assistant at RTC. And also on a recreation time, she likes to do Zumba fit, a uh, bootleg Zumba fitness called Zumba. <laughs> No. Bootlegs. <laughs> and she's also a cast member for Get A Big. Get a big yes, yeah. like, check that show out if you haven't already. We are slowly but surely bringing in all the cast members. We actually also, I think Jichen was also supposed to come today, but um, she's having work issues. Mm. So, But then she said she's going to be joining us probably Maybe. next week. Yes. So next week we already have a guest. Book. And also, guys, we got a girl guest. Finally! For you all thirsty motherfuckers, get some <laughs> fucking nimble bunny, drink that down your throat, you freaking dehydrated individuals. Okay, we finally got some females in this pod. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> calm Second down. final. I'm on the rant stage right now. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. So how have you been? Calm. So um, it's down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> calm is down. Uh, it was up, but now it's down again. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Um, this. This. I cannot stand. <laughs> <laughs> Jackass! <laughs> Alright, but anyway, um, yeah, so how, what's been going on with you, Sushi? It's been a while, we haven't seen you since we yeah. did that Yuong interview. Oh, yeah. Which came out, by the way. Well, yeah, that was, it was a very pleasant interview. We, our skin was looking bomb as fuck here. Yeah, Oof, that skin on that video, man. Looking too good. Man. I, so. want, I wanted to fuck me, to be honest. I wanted to fuck me. I wanted to fuck you too. Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, like, w w what's been going on ever since that? Uh, trying to figure out life, I think. But yeah, but, uh, while doing so, um, I was interning at BCMD. Mm -hmm. And um, while that was happening, I also got into... Um, I had to give this interview for teaching assistant at RTC. And um, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to get it. But then they called me and they were just like, oh, we'd like to offer you this position. So I was just like, hmm... I'll go for it. And then when I had to bring that news to the internship, VCMD, I cried in the morning Aww. talking to my boss. I was just like, I'm going to miss you guys so much. And then I cried. But then, yeah, it was nice. But then last week, this week has been very exhausting because we had to schedule everything in the classes, time. So, yeah, teaching, ASMR. Um, but teaching is a very exhausting job. So what does a teacher's assistant do? She assists. I assist the tutors in the class. The tutors in the class. So what? what a, so yeah. What 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 courses are you teaching? Um, Assisting in teaching rather. Um, academic skills and English English language. Hmm. Then one one. In in, in RTC. Yeah. So to the, the what do you call the college kids? Yep. No, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that was a stupid question. <laughs> yeah. well, I wonder who studies in college. Yes, I wonder who does study in college. <laughs> So but yeah, it's all first years though. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. get to shape the minds of clay. clay. Because I think like by the time students go into high school, I mean students go into college in Bhutan, mm. high school's already done enough damage to their brains by that point. Yeah. <laughs> That's just my opinion, of course, but I think we've spoken quite a bit about how the education system is. Mm -hmm. So by the time I think a lot of high school students go into college, their brains already like sort of... Been mashed up, yeah. Yeah, and then... Especially if you go to like boarding schools, you don't get freedom. Yeah, I think that, that that's one of the crazier things. No, like, dumb jam in this. When mm -hmm. they finally they're out in the college and they like they don't know what to do with all this free time. Have you had cases? What was your college life experience like? Sushi? I mean, you yes. studied in RTC yeah. yourself. Uh -huh. From how how was the transition from being a student to now the master? Just kidding. The the, the teacher's assistant. <laughs> oh, the transition. Yes. Yeah, different perspective, of course. I think while I was a student, I like 
I used to be, why the? You swear? But we, yeah, you right? Swear, okay. <laughs> Why are they so loud? But then right now, you know, um, seeing it from the teacher's perspective, you're just like, I pump me. Like, <laughs> they have to be loud. Also, right yeah, now, because of the yeah. whole COVID, um, they have to wear a mask and the entire time while lecturing. So they have to be very loud. So I'm just like, I... So yeah. now you understand the struggles now, yeah, of a lectura. Yeah. lectura. I do. You know, one thing that I think COVID has sort of opened up opportunities for is, you know, when we were in high school and we were in school, uh, kids used to inhale dendrite, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dendrite or correction fluid. So the thing they used to do is they used to smear it on their lages, no? Yeah. Or the inside. Oh, yeah. And then they used, used to, to go. inhale it, right? Now with COVID, think about it. You just have to line your mask. Not giving y'all ideas, by the way, but I would check the masks as well. Yeah, and they can actually just, like, just come up with, oh, it's a sanitizer and it smells like alcohol. Mm, yeah. See, nice ideas. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Whatever we just said in great detail, don't do that. Yes, do not do that. Do not lace your your mask, your face mask with illegal substances so that you can get high in class. Which mm. you can purchase by using some friend which is older for another reason. Mm-hmm. At a hardware store mm-hmm. in Thimpu next to Clock Tower. But we're not saying that. We're not saying that. We're definitely not saying that. We're definitely not saying that. <laughs> 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 Anyways, look, I always used to think the kids just do dendrite and all of that. If you want to be a druggie, at least be a quality druggie. Don't do the cheap shit now. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's like gross, yeah. It'll fuck up your brains as well. Check your privilege, dude. Not many people have money to buy expensive ass drugs. I was not a drug addict, so I, can, I cannot say No, but that then myself. what? I've actually... I did Denver when I was in college. Mm-hmm. Speaking of personal experience, mm-hmm. during college. Oh, you told me the story, yeah. I did Denver. One of the... It's such a dirty ass high. Mm-hmm. Like, it's... Like, it does not feel good. I don't... I don't see the appeal of it. But you, you trip balls, no? they? I tripped balls because I mixed it with a lot of stuff. Mm. So the story was, we were having a housewarming party. Mm-hmm. My, um, we were having a housewarming party at a friend's place, mm-hmm. and then he had bought. Was it here or no, no, in, in Calcutta? Yeah, okay. And <laughs> he had bought like a lot of old monk rum, which, by the way, I know it's so good. Old monk rum is mwah. It's like. Did you get to get it? Yeah? yeah, if you look, if you're careful, if you I, find. Did you? Oh, did you get it here though? I don't remember. No, I got it from Kalimpong. Mm. Okay, we're deviating to the story. Yeah, yeah but then yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> I was at my friend's place for housewarming and then he bought like, he got a bucket mm-hmm. and he filled it up with old monk rum mm-hmm. and we were just taking those plastic glasses, dipping it in the old monk and then like drinking it. Mm-hmm. Then a group of other, his other friends joined us. They were Naga or Northeasterns. Okay. I don't know whether it was Naga or Mizoram, but. Okay, Northeastern. So they bought a hookah. Mm. A bong or hookah? A hookah. Full on hookah. Like, yeah, with the pipe oh, and everything. Cool, cool. But then instead of, you know, the flavored uh, stuff, right? Which mm-hmm. you use, mm-hmm. they used weed. Yeah. And then instead of using the water, they mixed old monk rum into it. Does it have any effects to it? It does not. They just thought, let's try it. Okay. So what ended up happening was, I did the weed. I was already drunk on old monk. I, I already see where this is going. I did the weed. Smoked the weed, got high, mm-hmm. took out the rum thing from inside the hookah, which had weed ash in it, drank the whole thing, mm. then saw another dude doing dendrite, and I was like, I've never done dendrite, I want to try it, and then I went, and then I did it, blacked out, woke up the next morning, blood on my hands, blood running down my, dry blood on my face, toothpaste in my hair, what happened, I apparently stood up really quickly, and smashed my head into the windowsill, and cut myself, and it was too late to take me to hospital, so they basically like put a dollop of toothpaste on my head. But then there's like a lot of blood, and they said what I did was I just kept going, what's like, what's this sticky warm stuff? And there's like blood running down my head, and then they like put toothpaste on my hair to stop it. It stopped it. It wasn't that deep a cut, but you know, head in thing. And then I just remember washing my hands in the morning, taking the toothpaste out. A little bit of blood still there, and went directly to the hospital. Got myself set it in a shot. Because I was like, I do not mess with rusted metal. Well, in other words, I, I, I was really good. <laughs> <laughs> and with that in mind, I'm not encouraging you all to do this. This is just an experience that I had with various substances. Substances. <laughs> I'll tell you, that's so scary. What did the doctor say, though? What did the doctor say? I just paid him money and like he gave me a tetanus shot. Was he like, oh, 
No, he was like, what happened? I was like, I just stood up really quickly. I didn't know the window was open above me and I smashed my head into yeah, the it. metal edge of it. That was a problem. I cut myself. And then he was like, oh, okay. And then he just like gave me a tetanus shot. And then I was like, okay. And then I was like, wow, in Bhutan, this would be free. How much did you pay? I forgot how much I paid. I was concussed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was concussed. But I, I do remember getting the tetanus shot. Mm. You guys have any? You guys have any weird college stories? Would you like to share? And if my mother or my dad is watching this, I'm sorry, but what's done is done. But I am like, yeah, they didn't know. They don't know about this. Come, let's give sushi, sushi, sushi. Let's let it. I've got some little story, but it wasn't that bad. What about the story you told me when you went to states? We didn't. Yeah. No, I, had a feeling, no, I I know of this story. I don't know the story. Tell me the story. Oh, okay. So it was in my exchange program. I went from RTC final year. It was like a month long exchange program. So I was in Where, Wheaton yeah. for the first time. Where was this? Where's Boston, you? Massachusetts. Mm. In the United States. In of the Amrita. United States. Amrita. Yeah, Amrita. Amrita. So yeah, I was there and then it was my first week weekend. And um, um, there's like a lot of house parties. Mm-hmm. going on there mm-hmm. in college and it was such a cultural shock for me because out here we don't really get to do that so i was just like oh okay got really excited i went to this house party and then there was this guys who were just like oh do you smoke i was just like yeah do you smoke up i was just like i'd like to try mm-hmm. i was drinking already and then i was just like, oh i'll just get like a puff mm-hmm. i took a puff and then i was gone i was just like started hallucinating i was just like what is happening wait you started hallucinating yeah on one on one drive yeah i had no idea what that oh, okay. was i was like that's some strong stuff otherwise me was the first time i tried was i was hallucinating just like huh? anyway i'm sorry go on but yeah uh, drinking but it wasn't that bad also um i couldn't find my dorm you couldn't find your dorm yeah i thought you told me you were, you got paranoid that you were going to get raped or something like that um I was getting there. So the thing was, I started getting Spoiler hallucinating. Alert. It was um, around one, mm. two in the morning. I still couldn't find my dorm. So I was just like, oh, okay. It's better to be with someone than, you know, just walking around alone. So I was just like, okay. And then I was walking with this guy, with a group of guys. And then Maa showed up. I thought, okay, this is the night where I'm going to get away. And I wouldn't be able to, you know, like even fight like back, yeah. fight back. Mm. So I was just like, okay, like this is it. But then... Nothing happened, fortunately. Mm-hmm. And then I got back to my room around four, and it was okay. Now, I was just like never gonna do this. So yeah, don't mix. Don't mix. Don't don't do alcohol and um, hey kids, smoke them at the same time. Do drugs, but, but don't, don't mix. mix. But don't mix. <laughs> <laughs> but don't mix. That's don't the, t- that's, don't the t- <laughs> that's the title. Anything of this. we've learned today is don't mix, children. <laughs> that's okay. the episode of the title. Stick to one field, okay? Don't play for all the teams at one go. Yeah. In terms of drugs. But cocktails are so good. Huh? What? Cocktails? Cocktails, yeah. Cocktails, if it's based, like say, whiskey based, you yeah. can drink as much as whiskey based cocktails is fine. But if you mix like... But have you tried the Yeti at Drunken Club. Yeti? There's like seven different alcohols. Yeah, it's gonna fuck you up there. Yeah. It tastes like... It sounds like a Long Island, Island iced tea. Yeah, it's basically yeah. a Long Island iced tea. It's a Long Island iced tea. Long Island iced tea. Long Island iced tea. But that is good. But don't do that. The the thing that I learned about Long Island iced tea was there's no iced tea in it. Yeah. I didn't know this, like... Me too, I don't know about that also. So, there's apparently, it's called the Long Island iced tea, but there is no iced tea in it. It's just so many mixtures of alcohol, Mm -hmm. and the color changes to the color of iced tea. Oh! So that's why it's called Long Island iced tea. But technically, it's not iced, there's no iced tea in it. It's just a mixture of different alcohols which cause the color to change, the color to become that of Long Island iced tea. That's what... A friend of mine told me. Mm. Learning every day, people. Learning every day. What about your college experience? Eh? Well, once I got high and ended up in jail for a week. Oh yeah, Wait, we have to. <laughs> we have to talk about this. Oh, you this story. This is an interesting one. College in Malaysia. Right? Uh, this is gonna be a long story, bro. You guys got time? TLDR. Yeah. <laughs> TLDR. Yeah, TLDR. Uh, but like without skipping over the important parts. Okay, then I can't do that. I have to give you the details. No, just tell us what happened, okay. how it happened, and how you resolved it. I think okay. that's not good. Many years ago, when uh, Tsong Rikson was just a young man, it was a rainy, cold, rainy day. Just kidding, Malaysia was hot as fuck. Okay, <laughs> I was in Malaysia, and uh, I don't want to tell this story. It's kind of weird. Okay, but basically... Uh, Were you whoring yourself out? Because you... you like <laughs> No more questions, Kinle. <laughs> no more questions. Okay, anyway, go on. Okay, so anyways, I was... 
in Malaysia, okay, here's some context you have to give. Um, as a student visa, you need to give it two months before your visa expires for in order to be in order to, for it to get renewed, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to go every now and then to check because visa process is a nightmare over there. That's I think, anywhere. I think in Thailand you get go on the day and in the afternoon you get it ready. Mm -hmm. But in Malaysia it's different, okay? So I went there and they give you like a couple of documents saying that if you get checked, you know, for like people saying where's your visa and shit like that. Oh, like just show a this proxy visa. saying that it's is being under processed by this. See. So I kept that and I lost it. Okay? I lost it. So whatever it is, I my the, what I had to do as a you know person getting renewed is go check once in a while. They, they, might, they don't call, but there's so many kids, they don't have like, they might forget. So you just go a person and check, like, how's my visa going? Right? So my semester wrapped up, okay? It was like a week I passed my semester. I was supposed to come back home, but my visa was not ready. So I was waiting for the visa to get ready to come back. And my mom used to call me and say like, go check, go check, don't be an asshole. We, we want you to come home. No. So I used to be lazy about it. And then I, I, my college was like really far from the city and my city, my friends used to study in the city with it. So I used to go hang out their place. So I was there, okay? And then our basically our, what do you call, um, our, what is the word? Our routine was um, wake up around 4 p.m., okay? As get you high, normally do. Get high, go play daughter all night long, come back home at 7 a.m. and sleep and repeat, okay? That was my routine with my friends. So we used to do that, and one day my mom again she said, "Go check, go check your visa, okay?" And I was like, "You know what? I think today I'm go check, see. okay?" And I told my friend like, "Let's go with me to my college." And they were like, "Ah, oh. like I told you, it was very far. It took like an hour plus to get to the mm -hmm. place, no? And it's hot, no?" So they're like, "Shada, they're just like, let's just get high and play. You could go tomorrow, see, no?" I was like, "No, no, no. Today I have to go check, see. So, with that being said, um, another context. No, I have to give you that literally, it doesn't matter right now. So I said, okay, I took one of my friend, okay? So when he said, don't go, don't go, don't go, no. That was, I feel like in hindsight, that was like universe giving me a warning, okay? Mm. So I went there with my friend, okay? And uh, there's a long train trip, which is like a bullet train, which goes from my place, you know, from the city to my place now, which is quite far. So I went there, okay? And this train, since it's like a long 10 minute long train, and it's like very fast, 300 kilometers per hour, boom, little bitch, okay? It comes only once in 30 minutes. So I went there, okay, and I missed the train. I missed the train. My friend said, da, shada, let's just go back. It's 30 minutes, I'm hot now. I said, we just got here no more now, to the train. Might as well go, let's wait 30 minutes. 30 minutes, we waited, maybe we waited. Second warning, universe. Okay, universe gave me second warning. Then I got there, and I, I walked, walked, and we reached my station, okay? Now I just need to get on a bus, go to my college, check the visa. Okay, done, please, easy trip, fast adventure, in and out, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, Padre Imo. Then the, when I'm walking there, a guy comes up and says, Hello, sir. Um, can I see your passport or visa? We're students, you don't have that. Oh, you have to carry it. It's a rule. You have to carry it. Oh, bullshit. You're supposed to carry it, but then who the fuck will carry a passport all the time? Okay. So he's like, Sure, it was. I said, I don't have it. Okay, here's another context. That time, Malaysia is a super corrupt country. Okay, very corrupt. And in that year, the prime minister, okay, he won the election. Do you know how? He smuggled 500,000 Bangladeshi from Bangladesh to Malaysia and gave them all CID to vote for him. And then they won. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of immigration crisis. Mm -hmm. So they're doing random Voter checks. fraud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're doing a lot of checks, okay? So I came here, I had nothing. He said, no, we have zero tolerance. You have to have it. And before I looked at it, he cuffed me. He cuffed me, he cuffed my friend. I looked there. <laughs> you know those big ass cameras. <laughs> what the fuck? They put me into a van. They took me to the immigration center. Then my, he said, no. Okay, you're saying that you're a student. You're doing that. No, okay. To prove, give me your passport number. We'll check the system. No, it's immigration system. My friend, he gave his. Okay. I give my friend, checked out, Tinle Dorji, oh, okay, the next year visa, fine, you're free. Someone is an expired two months ago. Okay, you're free to go. Lo. Me, kaching, bib, toss me in a cell. And? And that's the world. end of the story. I, I've been in jail ever since. And I've been in jail ever since. <laughs> How'd you get out? <laughs> that's the point of the story. <laughs> okay, long, then, to make it long story short, um, Cold. I was an atheist. Back then, okay? okay, strong atheist, didn't believe in God, nothing, okay. Then I was there, I was in a cell with 40 people sleeping on the tile floor, okay. So I was like, okay, did you watch Banged Up Abroad? On that locked Nigeria? Up Abroad. Locked Up Abroad, whatever. <laughs> banged, banged Up Abroad. <laughs> it's called Banged Up Abroad, I'm not even lying. I think it's Locked Up Abroad. It's, there's, I don't know, okay. multiple names, okay. Mm. Okay, Fucked Abroad or whatever, okay. Mm. I was there, okay. Then I was like, hmm, this is my episode of Banged Up Abroad. And I was in shock, see, I wasn't sad, I wasn't mad. 
I was literally in shock because you would not expect yourself to be in that situation, no. And then there was this board, okay, they're saying like Kazakhstan, 20 inmates, Pakistan, something. He said, where are you from? Bhutan. If I went down, there's nothing there, no. The guy drew a marker, like, Bhutan, one. So I represented the nation, made you guys proud, boys. <laughs> <laughs> and then, the moral of the story renew your damn visas <laughs> okay so anyways then I was there and I was praying every day I was like Dup. I've been atheist till now now let's see I think I gave like 1000 buzzer guru in one day okay okay now to make a long story short one guy came in I made him memorize my mom's phone number made him call my mom by the time I called by the time I finally got a phone call after 5 days my mom she said she found out because some random guy called her uh-huh. funny no and then Ushlo, she called somebody who who, who, Ushlo, who she knew in Malaysia and that guy was apparently a big shot and he knew he was like a Tasho. Mm-hmm. And then he called the immigration guy who conveniently he knew and he said, this is a mistake, check him out. And when they checked, they said like, literally like the next few days, my visa got renewed there mm-hmm. in the system. It's just totally bad luck timing in the universe. So now, then I got out, okay? And then I'm a born again Christian. Just <laughs> Okay, what happened to that Silla Doji guy? Silla Doji guy could have called your mom. The thing is, he is a dumbass. He thought I got, he, he, he thought no, that I'll go and get everything sorted out and I'll be gone. I'll be out within the next day. So he went back to his place because I live far away. You know, he thought, <laughs> like, oh, God, I think it's, I think it's fine. It's not in this. He thought I was fine. Yeah. Dumbass. Eh? And then he got hired played Dota while you Probably. <laughs> while most you, likely. <laughs> while you were in prison. <laughs> well, you were in jail, not prison. Not even jail. Uh, detention mm. center. I was detained for five days. Yes, and then if that if I didn't meet that guy, he didn't call my mom. Um, I think I would have been in that cell for three months and deported. Well, you would have at least been deported back home after three months. Still, Still getting deported. Back and home. they would shave my head because it was a it was a Muslim prison, and then uh, probably my eyebrows as well. Oh wow! But yeah, that's the my story of. I'm a convict, people. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think, I think, that, that, like, despite the experience being so bad, I think stories are always great to have of such things. Mm-hmm. But ever since that day, now I really am. I become very not very, but I become religious, mm. superstitious also. I am extremely unreligious. Unreligious. Very. Are you atheist or agnostic? I'm not an again. I don't believe in extremes, so I don't yeah. go full atheist. So you're agnostic. Yeah. So you're lazy, lazy atheist. <laughs> I'm a moderate. Moderate. Let's atheist. let's let's say it that way. So, what do you believe in? Do you believe in aliens? I believe. Uh, so, have you all heard of this thing called the Fermi paradox? Nope. No, that sounds cool though. Mm. So, our universe and our galaxy and whatever what may you have, mm-hmm. it has over fifty million stars, right? Mm-hmm. And each of those fifty million stars could have another. 50 million of planets infinite okay. so this uh, scientist called Fermi mm-hmm. Enrico Fermi he and his um, astrologer I forgot the people who study space what they call astro- astronomers okay so I think they were like space, I'm a Sagittarius by the way fuck off <laughs> the space uh, the guys who study space I forgot what they're called so they all went out to lunch. And Astrophysicist. They were, yeah, there we go. And I think they were talking about like how there are so many stars and each of those stars could have more stars within them. And mm-hmm. maybe all those stars would have aliens and life on it, right? Yes. And then when they were all doing that, then Fermi, apparently Enrico Fermi, just turned to them and said, then where are they? Mm. So his saying was, if there are infinite number of stars, right? Mm-hmm. An infinite num- like number of planets. And if those... Out of those, there is bound to be like some life. planets which have life on it. Mm-hmm. Why isn't it that in our planet's millions of years, billions of years of existence, how come not, nothing has ever come to make contact with us? Mm-hmm. But we we do have video a video of video footages of UFOs. Here's the thing: a UFO is not exactly an alien spacecraft. A UFO is an, an unidentified, unidentified flying, flying object. object. Oh, saucer. So technically, anything that you don't recognize immediately is and so if you look at a fucking weather balloon from a certain angle mm. you don't recognize it as a weather balloon then it could be oh on it it's a ufo because i can't mm. identify it okay, so what yeah. is your stance on that then so you don't you think if aliens existed they wish we would have known by now so yeah i i i'm more in the line of i don't know okay if you had to be like absolute right now what would you say yes or no maybe 
Don't do that. Don't half ass shit, man. Because I don't know. In all honesty, me. Uh, so again, with the Enrico, uh, with the Fermi paradox, there's something else called the Great Berry, the Great Filter theory. Mm-hmm. So that theory states that every civilization, right, mm-hmm. has to hit filters or barriers. What kind of Instagram filters can't that? No fuck. So, <laughs> let's say uh, we life starts off as a single-celled organism. Okay. The first filter that it has to meet is the ability to break off into two multi-cell. Okay. So those cells that can break off, they crossed that filter, right? Mm-hmm. But then those who can't, they're going to die off, extinct. Mm-hmm. They don't, they're not adapting, evolving. So if you take that same principle, right? If our earth manages to, let's say, according to this theory, if human beings manage to, let's say, find, try to find life on other planets, uh-huh. there is a big f- fear that what if we do find life, mm-hmm. But that life would be far more advanced and civilized than ours, right? Mm-hmm. Meaning that they have crossed a certain filter that we have not reached. Which we cannot comprehend. Which we cannot comprehend. Mm-hmm. Or a certain barrier in evolution that this civilization has crossed, mm-hmm. but we have not. Mm-hmm. So if we don't, then it's bound that if we are not able to, we could go extinct. But that's worse. But what's worse is finding an extinct civilization abroad. And, I mean, finding an extinct civilization on another planet because... If that's the case, meaning that there is a barrier which that civilization couldn't cross and there's a higher risk that our civilization, like our planet, wouldn't be able to cross that barrier and develop. So we could actually go extinct as well. Yeah. So these are like some interesting, like uh, these are called the theories. barrier theories. Mm. I, the, the, how I look at aliens is like... What do you think? I, think wait, uh, I, I was saying something. <laughs> what the fuck? I was in the no, middle okay, of say, say, say. It's like how we look at ants, no? Ant civilization is very advanced for... That small creature where they have like holes and they have civilized, they have drainage systems, these fuckers, you know? So like how we look at ants, no? There I must be somebody looking at us. Aliens looking at us, our civilization. Like, oh, they're so smart. Look at them. Look, look, they made drains and shit. Like, no, aliens must be there, like, I think. Maybe like giants, you know? Maybe like freaking like Galactus be looking people, no? no. That's, that's the chance. I mean, perspective is... We don't re- truly understand perspective that way. Like in Rick and Morty episode, like he, he he creates a whole universe just to power his car and the mm-hmm. battery. And then there's another guy who powers another thing, another thing, infinite, infinite loop. No. Mm-hmm. Anyways, Sushi? Do you have anything to add on? On this? aliens? Well, not are really. Are you an I alien mean, this believer? Something, uh, this, 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 this kind of theories are something that I never really like... Heard before? Not heard, but then something that I don't engage myself with. <laughs> like, I don't really think about it or oh. have that curiosity for that matter. Do you believe in aliens? Uh, do I believe in aliens? Um, did, they th- did you think they exist? Do you believe in tiny green men from space? <laughs> um, I, I think I do, yeah. But it's... <laughs> what? Okay, how's, how's your stance on religion? Are you an atheist? Are you a religious person? Are you as... Are you like? I mean, I, I don't know. Huh? Don't I don't know? think I'm atheist, but I, I'm not religious you, either. You're spiritual. I'm How's your fam? Fam's, fam's religious. Very. Very. Yeah, very. The Buddhist Hindu, what are they? Um, what does that mean? But, oh, oh, okay. I thought you were just like Buddhist Hindu. I, I was just like, there's no such things. But um, they're Hindu. Yeah, they follow Hinduism. Mm. But I could never connect to it because no most of my life, yeah, it's just been like five, five years that I have. I've lived with my parents. Um, half of my life, I've uh, I've been tossed around. So I don't what do you really mean you've been tossed <laughs> around? Let's, let's get into that a bit. What do you mean you've been tossed around? So I, never lived, with my, just a I never lived with my parents. I was living in one of my auntie's house. And we, we don't even like, we're not even related. So I'm just you're like. Not, oh, you're just like, fake auntie's house. Yeah. <laughs> Family friend, basically, right? Family friend. Yeah, in bed. So Shmita, yeah. you go here, live there with this lady, okay? For five years, you come back to it. Yeah. <laughs> that was exactly it. <laughs> so, yeah, I was just like very confused. So I think um, I would say I'd follow Buddhism, mm-hmm. then I would um, Hindu. Hindu. Oh, so you're more like you you what's the word? Relate more with Buddhism, yeah. Buddhist kind yeah. of thing with that than Hinduism. Yeah. yeah, Buddhism is a form of Hinduism as well. Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a derivative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. But when I was in Calcutta, a lot of my Hindu friends, they'd be like, you know, "What religion are you?" And I was like, "I." Then that time I was an extreme atheist because you know college mm-hmm. edge, you know yeah, edge lord. Yeah, yeah. So I was to be like, no, no, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God and all that stuff. Although now it's just more like, 
it's like I I don't know what there is and what isn't, and I shouldn't affirm it also because you're I'm just an agnostic, whatever. Yeah. And then, and then my Hindu friends would be like, "So, like, are you vegetarian, non-veg? Like, what do you do?" I'm like, "I'm a non-vegetarian. I eat your god on a daily basis." <laughs> the Hindus did not like that. Oh God! <laughs> like, I eat your god on a daily basis, and they're like, <gasps> "Like, I'm kidding." They're like, "That is not a joke, Kinle." I'm like, "I'm sorry, jeez." <laughs> And then when I said, "Geez, the Christians got offended." <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Say. <laughs> the, the, the police video yeah. showed you. Know? <laughs> I'd like to apologize to the. <laughs> so what's what's this zomba thing that you've been doing? I'm, I know that it was started by um oh Deepika. Deepika. Deepika from M Studio. Uh, yeah. I only know her as our choice. Our choice, so. same. <laughs> okay. But yeah, zomba. It's um zumba. But Wait, Zumba Zonka in music. Zonka songs, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, it's a dance-based fitness program, mm-hmm. and um, the, are you the instructor? I I'm one of the instructor. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So like, how 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 does the client tell work for that? Do you all just do online, or is it like people come to take classes? Like you know how these um, what do you call these body combat places? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like people pay money and then come and yeah. they go to the studio. So you guys do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, we, yeah, we do the same thing. Ah. Yeah, for the first two years, we only started this year, mm. but the first two years, um, D did it for free in MOH Ministry of Health. Mm. So it was only this year that it has become a little commercial. Yeah. So what kind of songs do you use though? What do you mean? What I think it's M Studio songs. M Studio songs, Gary B Pop. Pop, yeah. Yeah. So technically, they wouldn't be infringing copyright either because they'd be using songs like that. Jalam, jalam ki aashi. Yes. It doesn't have to be like that. That piece that I'm tuning to. So you just go jalam. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember hearing that song as a kid. You know that song? She just called three people a ho. Allah Allah gives him ho. Do you remember that? I don't know if you all remember this song. This is like probably in, in uh, 2003, 2004. Are you mutta? Oh yeah. Are you mutta? Yeah, yeah, I remember. Are you mutta? 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 And then I just. I found that song. I just like I remember that woman had such a high pitched voice. Like, Chee, the stuff. Yeah. Chee. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck song is this? What But I loved it. What language? Nepali. What song was it? Nepali, Nepali song or Hotsampa song? I think it's Hotsampa. Hotsampa. Not Nepali, Nepali. Yeah, not Nepali, Nepali. It's Hotsampa. I remember that song, but I don't remember like particularly that like to the to that level. Then there was this one song which was. There was this other song which is like super mess. Oh, that was done by. Uh, more than that. Do you remember? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? Do you guys remember? Do you remember? Do you guys 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 remember? And he got, I, I like, That's such a cute song. Yeah, yeah I want to be Masa. His name was Masa. Giming di ga chi mo na giming di Masa ga. It was Japanese from zero to a hundred. <laughs> so she's also sung though. I remember you recorded. A, yeah. You recorded a song at M Studio once. Yeah. What kind of song is it? I do a lot of harmonies with them. People don't recognize me, but I did. <laughs> Give us some attention, <laughs> but, people. Give us attention. But I did this cover, just one cover. Mm. That was it. I thought it was an original. Did huh? you do an original? No, no, no. What's the song called? Helplessly. I heard it. I heard the song. Tatiana, it's not that easy with you here, sim. Mm-hmm. Tatiana. Oh, that song. That. Oh yeah, that song. That that that. That on YouTube, I saw. I I heard that song. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! I, this is very. And you're the f- only person who I've actually have known who, who's listened to that song. As of now. As of now, mm. because that song is very what do you call? It's a YouTube song, not a commercial song. Mm. It became we blew up by that. Oh, that's a nice song. Yes. Some of. You know that girl's gay. She was right to, to, to singing about a gig about a girl. Oh yeah! I had no idea. Thank you so much for saying that. Why? Really? Yeah. I I I researched her because I was a fan of that song, and apparently she was doing it for a girl, and she was gay, but she was closeted. Oh. Cute, huh? No noise. Yeah. I didn't know that. Hashtag Easter egg for you guys who listen to weird songs on YouTube. <laughs> oh, speaking of YouTube covers, what do you all feel about those coffee room covers? I'm not, I'm not a fan. You know of where you where you take like really like 
classic songs. songs or rap songs oh. and then you do mm. these really like cutie shit cutie toned down covers of it like i remember somebody showed me a cover of eye of the tiger sit down bitch be humble yeah bitch, some, humble. something like that Fuck you, bitch. and then it's like i think the whole i don't know like i think there are people who like those sort of covers i'm just like i'm not a fan not a fan how about you sushi <laughs> like so the covers where they turn like songs like humbles and maybe it's a very aggressive rap song and they make it into like a it's like listening to sweet child of mine but let's say like of course sweet child of mine is by no means an aggressive song but when you like when you go from like do 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 to something like you could at least got a smile that it seems to me they want to get copyright struck if i sing anymore but like that's all the stuff i actually the and the side is the part i don't like that sort of stuff but i do have to end up doing that those sort of songs when i have to perform at certain places because mm-hmm. it's oh, like so i need money what's your go what's your go to generic pop song huh what's your go to generic pop song which you sing firstly you generic like if if you said sushmita can you sing for us and give you a, like a mic and in some place what do you sing <laughs> You don't know you can put you on the spot putting you on the spot right now. No yeah. making you sing and sing name a song. No, I know, but I can't think of any cuz I haven't listened to anything for a while. Okay, can you what song would you sing if someone put you on the spot right now to sing a little generic pop song? Generic pop. Does it have to be pop cuz I don't listen to Like what is what generic pop. song do you listen to? Well, when I was in high school I used to always sing I'm yours cuz it was such a big okay, thing. Okay, that's a pop song. Oh, that's a generic yeah. pop song. That would probably be the one that pops out in my mouth quickly. You know when I was growing up the similar to that song Collide Oh fuck yeah collide by Howie what's his name Day Howie Day You and I collide <laughs> two cars colliding now I was had that image in my head Oh yeah But then just to be where Peaches would be one of those Oh yeah Okay. I don't like Bieber's part. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, okay. I don't like You don't. I don't like okay. I don't like, the, I don't like the other two guys. There are other two oh, guys. Oh, you only like the Bieber. I like only Bieber's oh, part. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, you only like the the, the chorus. No, Bieber has oh. the verse as well. Oh, the way I feel is the mm. texture of your skin. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> What is the other that? annoying one that Bieber released a few years ago? Something, something, yummy, 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 yummy. 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 Was it that one? Why are Bhutanese people so yummy, 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 yummy? What does that mean? Yummy song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yummy, <laughs> yummy. Bhutanese people are so yummy, yummy. I remember when, when, I, when, I, when, I, when I started out with like full on like singing metal and stuff, like hating on Justin Bieber was like the in thing. Yeah. And I did my part. Now when I think about it I'm like you know what part. like the dude doesn't make music that I'm into mm-hmm. but dude's got talent. talent he's talented and I think he's probably <laughs> he's definitely making more money than any of us <laughs> he can just sing like hey and he can probably make our you know lifetime savings chances yeah he's like yeah. he's been hitting a verse man one verse Okay, so she what's 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 in the plans now for you with RTC? Like are you planning to like is it like a full-time gig right now or Um it's right now I have only signed the contract for a semester. Mm-hmm. Um now the semester if it a uh, year long the it's optional mm-hmm. if I want to continue with n- the next semester as well. Mm-hmm. And after that we'll see if the TAs are doing a good job or not. Oh, you're at the TAs, right? Yeah. So like so you're given a semester like as a to see if you'll like it. Mm-hmm. And then after that you'll sign on for like how long? Another semester. Another semester. Oh, so it's not like it's not like you teach this whole year. No. You, do, you break it you do semesters. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, I initially wanted to take literature but I didn't get it there. I hated language as a student, but I have to teach that now. Oh wow. What do you what aspire do you, yeah, to be? What, to what do you want to be when you grow up? So she I am a grown up. <laughs> um no plans. No plans. <laughs> no. When you were a kid what do you say like oh, when I grow up I want to Honestly be... growing up I was that one person who didn't have any ambitions or goals. I just like have to go to school, just go to school. Like to every other day. Bhutanese. Yeah. <laughs> But I think um when I think about it now I think it is okay to not have that. I mean as a kid what the fuck do you know what you want to do? At least you'd have some general idea. No, you would have a general idea but I think like a lot of us we felt a lot of pressure to have to you know like do this because of the education system i don't i don't i don't blame education in that case i f- i feel it is more social no, most people right now you know if you ask generally like what do you want to do people will not know what to say yeah because do you know what you want to what yeah. you want to do what? Yeah, i want to make a movie mm. i want okay. to make a movie 
It's the only reason if you're watching this right now in the future and you made your movie, I'm proud of you. If not, you fuck it actually, you suck it. <laughs> no, but then I think it's more important to rather than I think it's more important rather than having like let's say like one goal, right? Yeah. Like have smaller, smaller goals yeah, yeah. throughout mm-hmm. the thing. Like okay, like um for me right now, example one would be uh I have to finish season one of oh, Get Bay. Mm. Then after that, once I'm in the middle of Get Away, while I'm mm. about to finish it, then it'll go to like, oh, next I want to do this, mm. and then this, and yeah, yeah. this. I think that's more, I think that's way more, personally, I think that's way yeah, more yeah. Sub- I, I agree. substantial I agree. than like mm. being like, I want this immediately. Like for me right now to say, that I want to make a movie, like I think at least I'm on the path, because at least when we're doing Get Away, we're getting the experience, mm-hmm. exposure, and yeah. then we can get to that, and then I just need to like, Somewhat, we have a team which you can do it. Theoretically, you just have to like put in the work. No, so I think that's a really realistic dream. Is that the word? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, you know what's what? What I'm dreading with the shooting for Get a B next mm. season. What? <laughs> the role assignment. Role assignment. Y'all are on your own now. Y'all have to decide who's going to. No, take we can't what, do that. What? Because I'm like, oh, who gets what now? Because I've got created so many characters. Okay, we'll just we'll just read it and say, okay, I want this, and if, we both, if two people want the same thing, we'll use it as a tiebreaker. How mm-hmm. about that? Simple as that. Mm. No, but how is like thing? But what? I feel like would like you would be because you've seen us act, right? Mm-hmm. And then you would know what role would suit us the best, like what we can do. But then that's the thing. I don't want y'all to do what y'all can, can do. do okay. I want y'all to be able to again push yourselves and try to do something that isn't. Okay. Like I remember when we had to have her do that screaming. Exactly, because I was thinking she, about the same. She she kept having like mini panic attacks because she's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can do this. I was like, you can do this. Yeah. Even Jitchen, she she. Yeah, we, Jitchen, we had to like try to get her to cry. Mm-hmm. By the way, folks, um, in Geta Bay, when Jitchen cries during the office scene, that is her genuinely crying. <laughs> Hashtag Easter egg, another one. Yeah, we sort of pushed some weird buttons to get her to do that. I know. I think we pushed it a little too hard, I think, my friend. <laughs> well, the person who pushed was Pushpa. Pushpa. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's in the name, damn it, Pushpa. <laughs> if I was Pushpa, and had a daughter, I'd call her Pulpa. Pulpa? Pulpa. 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 Sounds like a Pokemon. Pulpa. Pulpa. Yeah, Pushpa. understood. <laughs> okay. That was understood. It wasn't, it just wasn't funny. He didn't want to laugh. <laughs> no, but then I do intend to have y'all uh, take up some classes with Charmy before we start. I think she's busy. Um, she's a movie. She's making a movie right now herself. Yeah, but then uh, according we we are not going immediately into shooting either, are we? Because mm. right now scripts are currently in review, and I think mm. after that, um, I would like. Well, if Charmy's listening, whenever you're free, Charmy, please let me know. I'd like to get to talk uh, talk to you, because I think. One thing that was kind of evident with Get Away the first time we shot it was it's such a different thing to have to emote in certain ways. Mm. It's difficult. Yeah, emoting is the one thing which we don't we didn't take for we didn't you know, of course factor. Mm. But now we we shall we shall we shall improve. You Sushi's heart. Remember when we were like shooting? Oh, yeah. Like I was listening to the I was listening to the camera and then like the lapel mic on Sushi and I was like. Boom. I'm like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Sushi, is that your heart? That was my anxiety. Like her heart was just like, boom, 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 boom. like the lapel mic was catching every beat. Image after some time. It's a pretty hard beat though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Shit. Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, the re- glorious return of Nimbu Pane, still unsponsored. By the way, why glorious written? Return last week we didn't have um, oh. Nimbu Pani. Didn't we? No, we didn't have. For episode ten? No, we didn't have. Why? Because we had. I oh shit, we I, didn't. I went to go buy and they want some, so I just said, "I give me a coke." It's not a coke. <laughs> uh, and we had to be careful how we drank the coke. Technically, no, we just kept going <laughs> at it. Doesn't matter. We're not, you know, slandering Coca Cola. No, are we promoting it? But Sushi, besides doing the teaching thing, you also do a little bit of modeling, don't you? I, I tried. No, what kind I of tried I with anything. you. Yeah, you had a modeling uh, yeah. shoot. Yeah, like... something I cannot, I, I don't think I'll, I'll ever think, do that no, but again. What's it like? Because modeling seems like, uh, with all due respect to models out there, modeling mm-hmm. seems like such a... 
da, 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 da asking thing to have to go through. Yeah, it seems like a lot of work. A lot of no, work. I mean, it is a lot of work, but like, yeah, you, you tell us, you explain. A lot of work as such. Personally, I didn't, it didn't, it, it was easy for me. Because nah, I had already like, because <laughs> like, you know. it was how you work with the camera. Remember then working with M Studio over the years, I had become like pretty comfortable. Um, love the camera, no, I hate it, hate the camera, love it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had become like pretty comfortable. So I like also I could like um, understand what they wanted, mm. so I could work with it. But I, th- I think the how do how do I say it? The role I was assigned and the body language I had personally, it just didn't go well. What was the role and what was the body name? So it was like a hair extension um, shoot where it had to be all um, was it early a, and elegant. Pictures or view? It was um, pictures, pictures and videos and both. both. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, okay. So I had to act a certain way, mm. which I couldn't. It was very uncomfortable. So yeah, I think with modeling, Kungi, Kachi, they give you a look mm. and you have to be okay with it. And I, I don't think I can do that. Because there are certain clothes and then um, we that I'm not comfortable, comfortable with, yeah. Then. So it was a little. <sighs> mm. Hey, you want the, if you want a plus size model, <laughs> I've got a dad board for you that you could slobber all over. Mm. <laughs> so I just pictured me naked and got disgusted. <laughs> I, need, I, need I need a, I need another new bunny. Oh. Oh. I'm not thirsty, people. I'm dehydrated. <laughs> No, but then, yeah, like, um, I've seen a few model shoots, mm-hmm. and I kind of find it funny. I wish, I wish, I know, I don't think a lot of cameramen do that, but I wish they would. Like, I know it's all done in the movies. They just portray cameramen like that, but I would love to see a Bhutanese cameraman do that. Do what? Do what? Make love to me. Make love to the camera. Come on, honey. Oh. You're, you're, you're ferocious. You're I ferocious. Think, oh, you're you're think, angry. Rawr. Click, click, snap, snap. I think like that. that's just like the, you know, like the movies portrayal yeah, of camera. Film. I would love to see that. <laughs> but I used to watch a lot of America's Next Top Model when I was growing up. All hot oh. girls, you know. But they used to like, Tyra Banks always say like, smile, you know, smile with your eyes. Smiles? Yeah. Try to smile with your eyes. I don't smile with anything. Because you don't have eyes, my friend. Neither do you. <laughs> well, at least I can see with mine. Mm. I can smell it. <laughs> okay, so like basically, this is how you do the model look. No? You open your eyes. Mm. Okay, open your eyes as wide as you can. Then, then smile. Okay. Now, now lose the smile. And then put the finger in your mouth. And it. Bite, bite, bite it. Bite the lip. Now, take that lip out. Now you got the model face. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see, yeah. Guys, this is my model face. I see. How's this, guys? I see. You gotta show gum. Show more gum. Oh, let's do the okay, okay. Let's, let's all try go. Smile. Now oh, lose. For those who keep, are listening. keep the eyebrows. Keep the eyebrows. For those now who lose the smile. For those who are listening and, and not just watching the YouTube subtly, feed. Subtly open your mouth. Huh? Wait, Project Bhutan. You know? I'm sorry, that's so I'm a go-cup now, I'm a go-cup now, I'm a talent, I'm a passion, I'm a go That also so The way you describe the model. <laughs> Suddenly open your mouth. Look up at me. Okay. Pornhub will really like this. <laughs> For those of you who are listening to the audio pod, uh, audio version of this, we just um, rather Sai and Sushi just did a weird modeling. Model face off, face, yeah. face off. Okay, Sushi, be angry with me. Give us an angry face. Give us an angry face. Give us an angry face. Just to do some demo modeling. Come on. Angry. angry. Give us an angry face. I don't have an angry face. You don't have an angry face. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they should cry more than get angry at that. Man. You know, I think Norla actually has a very interesting model face. Huh? Our cameraman. Angry. No, he's got an interesting model. Oh, okay. Nola, come here. Come here. <laughs> Nola. Nola. Let him be. He's uploading some stuff. He's working on a music video. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride oh, there with we go. Oh, Look at the camera model. I right. think uh, I think we think right. you've got a nice model face. Uh, not we, you. <laughs> come. I think. We want to make sure that it's... Come here. Okay, come in the frame. Nice. Okay. This is model face. Calling me here to call me ugly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's Thank saying you're a nice model face, though. See, at least gave you a compliment. Okay. These guys don't believe so. Who's worse? The fact that I smile. call... Smile? 
Smile? I don't smile, man. I haven't <laughs> smiled in one year, man. I am a lady boy. Oh, I'm an e-boy. E-boy almost. I'm not going to do that. No, no, that's it. Just want to see your model. Oh, by the way, I'm uploading my music video. No, oh, plug, plug, plug that shit. Plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it. Plug it. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. Zomba, eh? Zomba. What's it called? Zomba. It's Zomba, yeah. T Z O M B A. Good. Ride with me. Good for Zomba, lah. Ride with me. Okay. Okay. If you're willing to give the music over for free, though. Ah, oh, everyone getting so healthy during during this pandemic time. Do you, did you all realize that? Healthy? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but I think the fad has gone down a bit actually. Before people used to be really into gyms, you know. Now like not many people. Do you gym? No, uh, I can never gym. I think there's like so much con. con- no, I can't concentrate. See, just like standing there. And then doing all the lifts and everything. But you do zumba. That's kind of the fitness ish that you can always have. <laughs> you know, I can't do gym. That's why I love it because zumba. Mm. You just move. You just dance. Mm. You don't really push it out. I gymed for. I went to gym for one year in 2019. Mm-hmm. I, I did it because I, I I paid off a whole year's membership and I dedicatedly went. Mm-hmm. After I. This was here in India. Here, mm. 2019. Okay, sorry. So after that happened. Mm-hmm. After my membership was done, I was just like, "Nope, gym is definitely not for me." Because I don't know, it's I just don't like the vibe of gym space. What about vanity? Not just the van. Nothing to do with vanity. It's just not my kind of place. Mm. I don't enjoy. It. Me also, I like working out when there's no one there. I don't like the social. So I used to go like early in the morning. I went at six in the morning to do gym. Okay, once I went at three. Sometimes when I missed six o'clock, I used to go at three. <laughs> the funny thing is, every guy there. Everyone who gyms in the afternoon for some reason brings their own fucking JBL speaker, uh. and each one is playing different songs at the loudest volume. Uh, and I, and the only thing I can think of is, dude, there are things called fucking earphones. Because yeah. I used to have headphones on while I was working out, and then like this, this. <laughs> sometimes it's so weird because one dude is like listening to like hardcore rap, like you know, like full on, like listening on the other side. Some dudes listening to Misty Terrace. And then another dude's listening to like generic pop, you know? and then it's like, okay, I don't know what kind of gym you went to. What, what are you all doing? <laughs> I just never experienced kind of things. But that's that's the you know like gym etiquette, you no, know, that's bad gym etiquette. Re-rack your weights. Don't play music yeah. which disturb the other guys. We're here for yeah, man. Yeah. Listen to whatever you want. Just mm-hmm. like, don't like be a douche about it. Suddenly you're listening to headphones, and then somebody unplugs them, and then I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. What? <laughs> <laughs> I know the day is pain, but hold on for one more day. Take me from the. You know that song, what? Nope. <laughs> no, that's not it. But in Gishlo, when I used to, I, another thing I don't like when, when people go to gym is those guys who take off their shirts. Oh my god, guys. Do me. Do me. Why? Why? No, no, it's it's their body, so they want, they probably want to see it. I'm playing devil's advocate here. I'm just trying to see what I'm just saying. Like, point of view is okay, but then okay, maybe that way. But then this is like I feel like oh my god, do you really need to take off your shirt, my friend? You can do that in the Although bathroom. once I went to gym early in the morning, there was this Japanese tourist who was like, they come for this daily gym. You know, these the tourists they just come in the mornings, then they go for their daily trips. So this Japanese dude is a fucker was like full on like martial arts man. I'm not kidding, like really amazing, like like full like stretched leg kicks and all that. And all of us in the gym are like like we all like quit working out. We just like looking at him and he's just like earphones on. How do you know he's a Japanese dude? How did you do that? Because we spoke to him. Oh, he is a he was a Japanese. Or? He told us he's from Japan. <laughs> and then he's just like 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 full on like stretching. Then he does like a little bit of tai chi. And he, I think he's like mixed martial artist. And yeah. we were just like, damn. <laughs> that was the first time like I was working on. I was like, shit, I feel inadequate now. <laughs> Another reason why I stopped going to gym was I was not working out. I would go there, talk to my friends for like 15 minutes, and then I go back to the thing and I come back. And he's so hard. It's more like a social thing, no? Mm. You go there, you talk to your friends, you meet. Like, I mean, I I'd be honest to say that I was sort of pressured into going to gym, because <laughs> everyone was like, "Can I go to gym? Can I go to gym? You're gaining a lot of weight." And yes, I was very unhealthy. I was way bigger than I really? am right now. How like much? I'm big right now. What was your peak? Uh, I think my peak I was like at about ninety eight, hundred kilos. Mm, okay. Right now I'm still in the nineties range, but still not as. as but you're doing that boxing thing, or you stopped the boxing? Put that on hold right now. Mm, because because you, there's shifting studios. I but think. then, if you want to lose weight, you just need to do like high int- hit hit into hit what um 
hit workouts or do a lot High of cardio. Oh, cardio. No, I do cardio. I run every morning. Do you all do any morning rituals? Exercise? I'm trying to. I'm trying to start. Morning, I can. Usually, I work out in the afternoons when I come back from work. But that was like once or twice a week. I've lost the schedule pattern. But I want to try in the mornings because then you get more time for the day. No? Yeah, in the mornings it's always best. Like yeah. I try. I get up by five thirty and oh, then wow. I start running. Wow, I wish I had that kind of what to call that it's mental. Strength. Oh no, it's it's it's. I think discipline is important, discipline, yeah, but also discipline. I think it's also important. Like sometimes give yourself like, like you know, sometimes you wake up and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do mm-hmm. it, and when you don't want to, it's like your body also doesn't listen because your mind's already like, yeah, yeah, feel for like sure, for it. sure. So I think those days you should still do it, mm-hmm. but don't do it at the intensity that you mm-hmm. would do it when you just yeah, yeah, yeah. like. Like I think I saw somebody who said that when you work out, you should work out according to how your energy level feels mm. that day. If like yeah. you're really energetic, then you do high intensity. If you're not that energetic, then you have a routine which is like less reps or less sets mm-hmm. or less kilometers that you run. Or maybe you don't even run, you just walk. Something like that. I, I agree. Yeah, yeah, even like at 4 hours Zomba, there's like three um, sets of tracks mm-hmm. which we do accordingly. Oh, if, yeah. So if people aren't feeling it, we just like go with very... Um, oh, you less, read the room. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Low intensity to yeah. high intensity. Yeah. Right. I think that's important because uh, like you don't want to fuck up your body. You know? <laughs> yeah. Old lady coming in. I'm not really down for that. Come guys, move, bitch! <laughs> exactly, because so many any body, combats, uh, body combats and mixed, mar- mixed martial arts are incorporated as well. Mm. So on high intensity, if like people aren't feeling it, they just can't. They mm. punch them up with kicks and all. Mm. So we just like let it be. How often do you do your Zomba classes? Monday till Friday. Oh, okay. shit. And how, how, how much time do you go and instruct? Monday to Friday only? Yeah. Five times a week? An hour, yeah. 6.30 till 7.30. There's like two batches. So um, Deepika, she takes the first one, 5.30 Mm -hmm. till 6.30. And I do the 6.30 till 7.30. How many people do you like, are are they in the room? Um, Around 14. Well, not bad, huh? Yeah. Oh, not bad. Yeah. How, and then, like, how much is it if you, if you want to do this Zomba class? It's um, 1,500 per month. For a, a month. month. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, 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 that's pretty okay. That's pretty yeah. okay. That's, 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 I would say not... That's uh, not drilling a hole into your pocket. I would say that's yes, affordable. I would yeah. say, yeah. So, Very, yeah. So that's, how's, how's that so far for your body since you've decided your Zomba instructing? For my body? Yeah. How you feel, how you been feeling? In Look at her, she's fit. Huh? Yeah, I haven't lost as much, but then I think my body is getting like really toned. Mm. Yeah. Do you have a lot of energy now? Are you like, flexible? Oh, I'm flexible. Very. I'm like, that. The way she said it, I don't ask her. Like yes, that. the way she said it, even I was like, what the fuck? I am very flexible. <laughs> okay, end of the podcast, guys. <laughs> end of the podcast. Well, you have to be very flexible. In but anything in, like, in life, energy you feel like there's yeah. Like there are times. There are times I'm just like I don't want to go. Mm. I don't want to do this. Mm. But then I'm the instructor anyway, so I do it. But once you start, you're just like, oh, thank God I came, mm. and thank God I'm doing this. That's what so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know the the only sad thing about going for early morning walks is the dogs. Oh um, yeah. I go for an early morning walk and like for one good stretch of the road, mm. I take out my earphones because I don't. I want to hear dogs yeah, barking. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, this is one fucking dog. This one fucking dog right above Uti Nursery. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I'm calling this person's, this dog's owner out because I'll be walking. This dog comes onto the wall. Mm-hmm. And last time I thought it just usually stands on the wall and barks at me from their compound. Fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, but then last time it actually jumped off the Whoa. wall and came towards me. And it actually was going to, like, it came full of... And I was like, fuck, man, if this dog, like, I love dogs, but if they're going to come at me... You'll defend yourself. I will fucking, like, I won't kill it, but I will kick it. Like, I will, I will, like, curb stomp your dog. <laughs> curb stomp your dog. <laughs> no, but then thankfully, but then the dog, like, started coming and then I just, like, sort of, like, stopped walking and I just suddenly turned to face it mm-hmm. and I just like I was like I didn't go into fighting stance or anything but I was just like what and then the dog like stopped and then it just like it yeah. just kept barking but then it just like walked away apparently you I... always maintain eye contact yeah the first person to break eye contact loses the battle already then he'll fuck you up then <laughs> no but then I was like shit man the first time I, I'm sure the owner does isn't like probably like ah the compound is there it's, it's, a, it's a high wall the dog fucking jumped off the wall ninja. and came down fucking samurai ninja shit you man yeah. I was like, I want. I see this man. Fuck him. He doesn't take my threat seriously. I'm gonna show him who's boss and jump on 
him today. Although last time I nearly got bitten by a mama dog because I was trying to feed her pups. Because I had taken some Ooh, crackers with me in the morning. Man. And then I see these puppies all the day up mm. there at Sanji Gangi. Mm. I know. I like, took out some crackers from my pocket and I was like crushing it and I was just keeping it. The mama dog, the rah, rah, rah. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> just, I was like, shit, like... Mama dogs don't care whether you're giving them eye contact, bro. It's like, like you threaten. See how my children, you master. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, but then the puppies are there. And they're cute, cute. Four puppies. Just like in the Revenant, when thing, but they, um, Leonardo DiCaprio fights a bear. It's a mama bear, but they, that's why yeah. he becomes, she becomes highly aggressive. No. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. It's a great scene, though. Fucking did, crazy. Did y'all, did y'all see that video? It's so weird. Like I think some, it's it's a security cam footage. Mm-hmm. And it's in some dude's backyard. Mm-hmm. It's in someone's backyard, and mm-hmm. then there's a wall, right? Mm-hmm. And then suddenly in the security camera, just one bear starts like walking on the wall, and there are two tiny, cute bear cubs behind her. Oh. And then the dogs in the backyard start barking, okay? And then mm-hmm. the mama bear turns around, and it's almost like telling its bear cubs to go back. Mm. So it starts defending the dogs because the dogs are like barking and mm. jumping at mm-hmm. the. So the mama bear starts swinging and stuff, and then out of nowhere, the 17-year-old girl runs in because the bear is now a threat to her dog. Mm. This 17 year old just oh. runs in and pushes the bear off the wall, oh, grabs yeah, her yeah, dogs, yeah. and runs back. In. Plot twist, am I ran. Yeah, I was like, I felt more bad for the bear because the bear is just like, what the fuck? Yeah. Wait, I want to see this video. Where the fuck is that? I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, check yeah, it out yeah. after this part. <laughs> what the hell? The plot twist. Yeah. And the other one where the where the kangaroo is like trying to like choke out a dog, and then this guy comes running up, and then he's trying. Oh to yeah, yeah. Dog, yeah. And then the kangaroo is also like, and the guy's like, 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 just, like, like just like like jabs it, like, bang. and then the kangaroo he just puts his hands down and looks at the dude like what the fuck bro <laughs> like, every time I watch that I was watching it with Tenzin the other day the Tenzin yeah, I saw that one yeah. yeah Tenzin's like you know what the kangaroo looks like it's like what it's like, he's like he looks like yeah <laughs> like the kangaroo looks like it got smacked like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's so stunned you know, like, <laughs> but then of course Peter kind of got into this whole thing like oh you abuse the kangaroo oh, you know peter uh, peter or peta whatever the fuck they're called they uh they what's the word they euthanized, they euthanized more dogs than any other organization <laughs> because they rescue dogs then in by us system they do if they don't get adopted in a week but in a week yeah Shit. that's the rule i think i'm i could be wrong fact check me but then that's something like that Definitely fact check that and because even, I've heard a lot about that as well. And then also like uh, I think they support you know Sea World. They say Sea World is like the worst. You know, it's like a prison for sea animals. Yeah, yeah. sea animals. You call them sea animals? What do you call them? Sea, sea, sea creatures. Sea creatures. But they creatures, animals. Are, are are sea creatures animals? What hmm? do you think, Sushi? Are sea creatures animals? For that matter, are humans animals? Are animals animals? Are animals humans? Am I a human? We'll leave you with that question. <laughs> <laughs> I need to know. I'll tell you one last thing before we leave. You know how, um, uh, you know the blue whales, you know, they're uh-huh. mammals, but they, uh-huh. you know that? Yeah, yeah. And then, um, you know, they actually cannot breathe underwater. They just have a huge lungs, so they go They can hold air, capacity. And they can hold breath for long periods of time, but then. So when an old blue whale mo dies, oh, I you know, know this. They get so old that they cannot go up to the surface to go, which they need. To get, get air. Breath. So they slowly mm. drown and then they die. They sink. They they get too old and too tired to go up to the surface to take air. Uh-huh. So they just basically get tired and because they're tired they don't move. Uh-huh. Then they just slowly drown. slowly sink and then they drown. drown and die. On the episode, thanks for sushi have having thanks for having you. Thanks guess for which coming. guess which theme park I would go to. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see world. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but okay. yeah, Thanks, thank Sushi. you so much for having me. And uh, this might seem like um, another Sangeet Chofel episode where it comparatively seems like the guest isn't talking much <laughs> and then the two hosts. But then no, it wasn't like that. I really had fun. I hope you guys did as well. Yeah, we, we had fun. Thanks for saying that, by yeah. the way. So, so um, his, his opinions like... Uh, we, 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 we'll do this after the... We can't okay. Give, this later. Later. Yeah. I'll involve you. Even if you give this all fucking thing, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't underestimate the value of a one Niltrum note. Do you know how much money Kidney Foundation made just collecting one Niltrum from people? Quite a lot. No, he doesn't have the numbers. He just makes some like, shit up. No, no, they did. I remember reading yeah. it. They made like so much money just collecting one neutron. So never, ever underestimate. Although I don't think I'll get even a chewing gum for one buck. A drop in the sea of an, a single drop 
something has mixed an ocean or just some saying like that right isn't there and with that if you would like to follow us please you can follow sushi on instagram on sushi s u s h e e e underscore yep right here Uh, if you would like to follow Sai on oh Sushi, do you have a YouTube by the way? No, I don't. Okay, so you can only follow her on Instagram because I know she doesn't have. Wait, wait, wait! You though. can also follow Zomba, right? Blood oh yes, 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 please. D Z O M B A. Because D is like. Huh. <laughs> Anything else on YouTube? Or is it on no. YouTube? Oh, no, Instagram. Just Instagram. Oh, yeah, okay. so that's right here. Uh, if you want to follow Sai on his Facebook, on his Instagram, or his YouTube, you can forget it. It's right here. If you would follow me on my Instagram, my YouTube, it's up here. Please subscribe to Junior Studio. We're almost at 1K, people. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? We are okay. So um, subscribe to Junior, please. And with if by any luck, by the time you all see this episode, they would have released their new music video for the song. Ride with me. Ride with me. Ride with me. So Ride with definitely me. check that out as well. You yeah. can follow Junior and subscribe to us on their Instagram as well as the YouTube, right? There and also Girupi is still on Samu. Check it out if you haven't checked it out. We're all there. If you like sushi, she has a couple of skits there. Yes, I do. And She's the crazy bitch who thinks the government's out to collect her DNA. <laughs> okay, and that's spoiler. Not, no, <laughs> and that's just in the sketch. <laughs> 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 when she's not doing that, <laughs> when she's not doing that, she's It's, convinced of oh, a lot of other things. And then also, what what is it? Um, like uh, what? Is, oh yeah, we can also check out the we did an interview with Young Magazine. If you guys haven't checked that out, yeah, you can check that out on, on their on, on their on their, on their socials. I think they have a YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. No. And with that being said, thanks again, Sushi, for coming. Thank you, thank you. And till the next episode, you part heads. Can I? What? Not gonna do it. <laughs> oh no! I forgot to tell you. I'm retiring that bitch now. You're gonna retire that bitch? Yeah, I don't want uh, to do it anymore. I, I was I was quite fond of it now. Mm. Okay. We Alexis got... Texas. Ah, you're as fucking as us. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Wow, what a good timing. Yeah. Here's listening. <laughs> Did you upload our video? No. Chill, chill. Chill. <laughs> chill. <laughs>